All right, so I realized in the uh, update video that I posted, um, some of y'all are probably going to be curious about the fact that I said um, I had a trailer, a major trailer issue that brought me back down here to Springfield from, uh, I was up in Michigan. Um, trailer pretty much lost an axle. Um, ended up dragging it back down here from, uh, where the heck was I? Plymouth, Michigan, so about 750 miles back down to here, and in the process of dragging it back down here, um, took the tires off, chained the axle up, all that fun stuff, um, but in the process of dragging it back down here, I stopped at a, uh, at a truck stop, the truck stop's number happened to be 666, uh, not that I'm superstitious or anything, but I probably should have known that wasn't the best truck stop to stop at with the kind of day I was having, um, woke up in the morning and went to do my pre-trip, walk around on the trailer and came to realize that, um, I still had the tarps back on the back of the trailer like I did in the, um, hi Nico, in the exterior walk around and the tour of how I organized the truck and all that kind of stuff, which is not where I normally keep the tarps at. Um, I usually keep them up closer to the truck, just its convenience, but also when you're parking in different places at night, it somebody's got to be a little bit more courageous to take something from right behind the sleeper than they do from 55 60 feet back behind it where you're not going to hear them at all um but went back there and the strap i had holding my tarps down was uh loose and my two blue tarps are still there but they had taken my two black tarps my two steel tarps so uh there's a few hundred bucks um actually that's several hundred dollars that i'm now going to have to uh pay because I got to buy new ones from Prime um, or I guess I could buy custom tarps but they're going to cost even more than just buying the black tarps again from Prime so yeah these last couple days have been um, not great uh, this week's pay is going to be absolutely terrible I've managed to run one load hopefully Monday I'll get a good paying load that'll uh, lessen the financial burden that I'm about to be smacked down with, especially since I just came back from, I'm literally, what, a week and a half from getting back from my home time, and uh, all of a sudden everything's going wrong, because um, that's part of trucking, it's part of what I signed up to do, I guess, you got to take the good with the bad, um, but yeah, I mean, so that's uh, that's what's been going on recently, um, as, I, uh, as I said in the update video, and I don't know, I'm filming this literally right after I posted the update video, so I don't know. I'm back in the sleeper. By the way, instead of walking around in the yard, I don't know if I'm going to post this one tonight. Tonight's the 20... I think it's the 21st, not the 22nd, so I'm going to be here tonight and then Sunday night. Um, and then leave back out Monday morning. I'll probably go see a movie tomorrow or, or today, depending on what day I film this video, Sunday. But yeah, if anybody's here at Prime, um, I know that a lot. some of y'all that are watching are Prime student drivers, stuff like that, so if you happen to be here at the terminal, shoot me over a uh, message, and uh, if I'm still here, hey, maybe we can, uh, I'd love to meet some of y'all, but uh, yeah, um, yeah, just another short little video, um, yeah, I'll probably go ahead and post this tonight, y'all are getting to watch my thinking process as I'm doing this. Um, yeah, I guess that's, that's that, um, until next time, y'all be safe, uh, hope to meet some of y'all, and, uh, talk to you soon. Alright, so I know I did the outro and all that fun stuff, but I figured I had, uh, I don't know if I even posted the video that I mentioned this time, but I figured I'd show y'all what the controls were back here in the, uh, back here in the sleeper at least on this one. I mean, they're generally the same on, actually, I think they are pretty much all the same as long as you have a uh, Thermo King um, instead of a, um, what the heck the other one? The Rig Master. But this right here is your, um, well, the screen actually, there it is. I've got it on vent mode right now, but there we go. But it also controls the heat in the winter. You can set this, use it to set the temperature instead of the fan speed, and it actually runs the um, heater for you. Right now it's nice 67 degrees in here. Then you've got your, this is your APU control. So I've got it in cool mode right now, which thanks to the flash, you can't really 
see what's lit up. Let's see if I turn that off. Yeah, it makes it a little bit better. So you got vent, you got the AC mode, you've got your just fan, and then you've got your heat mode, which doesn't actually really heat, so I don't know why it's there. I guess I use it sometimes just to help circulate. You got your temperature set, which doesn't do too much with the AC on, and then you got your fan control. So right now it's just the normal AC fan, and then you can crank it up all the way if you need a little bit more fan. So that controls those vents and some of the ones down by the floor and then this one controls just one vent down by the floor it doesn't actually cool it's literally just a fan um, it controls the heater and then vent mode just runs the fan this if the big engines running this runs your climate control back here since I only have the APU on right now I don't have the truck actually running uh, this does absolutely nothing right now but if your team or while you're training um, this will control the AC and the temperature back here and it runs off the same system as up front. And then this, I guess you could get more options back here, but um, this truck doesn't have them. This is your sleeper mute, so this will disable when the radio is on. If you flip that up, it disables the speakers back into sleeper. That way you don't, uh, you don't have to stay awake all night with the uh, music by Nico. So it just helps make it a little bit quieter back here. And then these are your light controls. So right now I've just got the ambient lights on up there. Um, you've got your, let's see, that turns everything off. You've got your dome light, which is just that single light right there. Turn everything off. You've got your uh, sleeper dome, which is those two there without the one up front. So if you have the curtain closed and somebody is driving up front, you can switch on just those two and not blind the person up front at night or something. And then the sleeper dome is also, they time out after a few seconds. The sleeper dome is also, you can push it down. The other ones don't go down. You push it down and it kills all the lights inside the truck. Aside from that little light, that little light's still independent and on its own little system. But, um, yeah, I mean, so that's the that's the sleeper controls. I got my laptop and my iPad wedged down beside the bed. And um, yeah, I've got my phone hooked up because I've been watching uh, movies and stuff, so it's still hooked up right now. So there's some screenception for you. And then I've got oh yeah, you've got your windows. Which there's another truck out there. And then I have, back here, I've got a, that's all my winter clothes right now, but I use that to actually help keep the, uh, give me a little angle on the pillows and all that fun stuff. But, um, so that's, uh, that's a little random bonus clip for you, just, uh, Yeah, just a little random bonus clip of how the stuff back in the sleeper works. I don't know if that actually interests anybody, but uh, I felt like uh, two really, really short videos were, I don't know. I just felt like doing it. So every now and then you might get where I film the outro and all of a sudden just go, hey, let's do a little bonus thing. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, until next time, y'all be safe. This is the real outro. See you soon.